255 pounds. And, and we, we filled these buckets up in under 30 minutes. That's unbelievable. We've been absolutely wasting our time over the past year or two or how long it's been. That blows my mind. Wow. 30 minutes. We've got 255 pounds of range scrap. Hey YouTube, Country Boy Prepper here. So in the past, if you've been following my channel for a while, you've seen me uh, collecting lead and uh, collecting range scrap lead specifically and uh, melting it in, down into ingots to hopefully one day be able to melt it and cast it back into bullets. And um, so I built this sifter a while back when I first got started based on the what I'd seen guys do on YouTube and the, the particular range that I'd been going to I wasn't having a lot of success with it. I tried actually two different ranges, had very, very limited su success with it and kind of gave up on it and basically commenced to just picking it up by hand one bullet at a time, bit by bit, which is very, very labor intensive and difficult. Well, we've, uh, we've uh, recently, well, actually not too recent, it's actually been several months, but I joined a new gun range and uh, I'm a member at a gun club now and this is probably the nicest gun club in my area. It's called And it is just really, 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 really phenomenal. Uh, but this isn't a commercial about the gun club. Basically this range has a whole lot of shooting pits. And one, a couple of these pits have these steel targets. I don't know if you can see them, but there's these steel targets. And of course behind them there's lots of berms. And these berms, the particular type of dirt that they have, is very soft, dry, powdery, easy to sift type dirt. And so I brought the sifter back out here, and wow, this thing, uh, well, I'm just going to have to show you because this is, this is really nuts. About five minutes. <laughs> that, that, that was like one load, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, do, I'm gonna do one real quick. And just show you here i'm gonna hand the camera to luke luke you just film me watch the screen and uh i'm just gonna set this on the ground for now but basically i'm just getting straight out of the berm now i'm trying to do this as uninvasively as possible i don't want to destroy the berm i want to put the dirt back where i got it i don't want to damage anything i don't want to upset anybody and lose the opportunity to do this but I mean, very easy, very simple. I'm just skimming a little bit of dirt off the top, throwing it in there. Skim a little off and throw it in there. We'll grab some more over here. All over this berm, not in any one spot. We're not digging any big holes or nothing. Just a few shovel pulls off the top surface, like so. Filling up my sifter. I'm gonna take the sifter right back over here where I just got the dirt from, and I'm gonna put this dirt straight back where I got it. All right, now I've got most of the dirt out at this point. I'm just gonna set it right here. Bust up some of these clumps, or just throw them out all together. Doesn't really matter. This isn't as good as the first batch, but... It's about the same, I'd say. And I don't care if there's a little bit of dirt in here. I don't care if there's a few sticks. I don't care if there's a few rocks. Because when I go to, to melt this in my melting pot, all that stuff's going to float right to the surface. And it's not going to matter one bit, one, one bit at all. But there you go. That's at least, I don't know, close to... Maybe 15 or 20 pounds of lead, I'd say. That amount would take us an hour and a half at the length we used to go to. And my bucket is almost half full on two loads. And that would take us about three hours to do at the first range. This is exciting for us. <laughs> this is extremely exciting because we have worked so hard for the lead that we've gotten. And I'm probably somewhere between 200 and 300 pounds of ingots that I've collected and melted myself so far. And we've worked so hard for every single pound. I can tell you right now, 
This is an, this is amazing. The sifter has redeemed itself. It is definitely well worth using now. I mean, this is so much easier. So much easier. Of course, you want to do it when it's dry. You don't want to be out here after a heavy rain or anything. And we don't want to damage anything or we want to put everything back as, as we found it. And not destroy the range at all. Leave it as is. All right, so there's a, a full load. I don't know what that was, five or six little shovelfuls. I'm gonna take it back over here and put the dirt right back where I got it. And this is heavy. Very heavy. All right. My dad, he has a torn ACL while doing this. <laughs> well, that's well, no a big deal. <laughs> it's been a few weeks and it's healing up nicely now. I'm just gonna take a few minutes quickly, throw out any big clumps of dirt or any big rocks I see. Not a lot of time. I really don't care, honestly. This stuff will all come out easily when I melt, melt it in the melting pot. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of lead. This is, this is 80 to 90% lead, I'd say. There's a lot of other stuff in here, but it's mostly lead. That's awesome. That's uh, over halfway full. And we're gonna have to be careful because if we put too much more in this thing, we ain't gonna be able to lift it. See if you can lift it right now. Oh my God. That's over 50 pounds, easy. Easy over 50 pounds. Maybe close to 60, I don't know. We're gonna have trouble getting that back in the truck over Folks, there. We have, we have never harvested that much lead in one trip, doing it the previous way. We've always picked it up one bullet at a time and it's back breaking and it's, it gets old quick. <laughs> We've never brought home that much lead. And I just did that in 10 or 15 minutes. Solo. I mean, easy. This is absolutely amazing. About, Unbelievable. About 80 to 90% of that is lead. Yeah, I mean, there's some debris in there, but that's okay. If you've ever melted rain scrap before, you'll know. That doesn't ma matter at all. It will all float to the top and separate and be very easy to deal with. It's going to be a good that I can already tell. And this berm is, is incredible. And there's lots of berms like this. This isn't the only one. There are many like this. And I probably shouldn't be telling folks this because now everybody's going to want to come do this. And I'd hate for everybody to be out here doing this. Be back to the range, but... <sighs> All right, that's a good little bit right there. Can you lift that? <laughs> I don't know, let's see. <laughs> Whew, I'm gonna hurt myself. Oh, that's heavy. All right, now I'm gonna put it back right where I got it. Wow, that's heavy. That's a lot of lead. That is a lot of lead. Wow, that's a lot of that. Oh, double. That's all right. Set it right here. Clean out some of the rocks and big chunks. Should I go get another bucket? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need another bucket. And uh, I'm not worried about if there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, this is 70, 75 to 80% lead mixed in with all kinds of other stuff. But Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to dump this in here and we're going to have to take this bucket back because we're not going to be able to load the bucket up. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievable. <laughs> that is a full bucket. No, it's not full. Three quarter full, but oh my gosh, I can't pick it up. That is crazy. It's not good. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get this in the truck. You can do it. Oh my gosh, that is... I'll go get another bucket. I have no idea how heavy that is, but that is so heavy. 
That is heavy, y'all. I mean, oh my gosh, that's heavy. Wonder if I, I may be underestimating how heavy this is. This may be close to 100 pounds. That's a lot of lead. I doubt I could probably lift that. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Build you a sifter, find the right range. You can definitely get some range scrap. Make sure to leave it. Don't really tear up your ranges. Don't yes. offend the owners. Don't do anything to destroy the berms. They put a lot of work into these berms. Don't mess them up. If you remove material, put it right back where you got it, okay? And don't, don't get in anybody's way if they're trying to shoot. Don't. If somebody wanted to shoot right now, I would get out of their way immediately. Be courteous. Don't be stupid. And uh, the, the, the range is for shooters. It's not for for range scrap collectors and stuff like that. But this is, this is really exciting. Really, really exciting for me. Now I just gotta figure out how to get this in the truck. Appreciate you guys watching. No, we're watching this. <laughs> oh, you wanna watch me try to load it up? <laughs> oh boy. I've got a torn, I just had surgery three uh, weeks ago. I probably shouldn't be doing this. I should probably help him. Oh my god, this is heavy. Trying Handle to get over there. I'm just afraid that handle's gonna bust and go down on my foot. <laughs> Holy cow, that's heavy. That's over 100 pounds, easy. Gotta be over 100 pounds. Small bucket, but um, a lot of it's weight. It's lead. It's, yeah. it's, it's. Uh, Need to put the oh, tailgate down. We're not filling the next bucket up that full. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> when we get home, we'll weigh this. We'll weigh it when we get home. Stay tuned for that. I want to see you try one time to pick that up. <laughs> Go ahead. Use both hands and carefully. See if you can get it off the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's heavy. Oh. What's your best guess? How much do you think it weighs? Uh, well, I can normally lift about 50 pounds, so I'm guessing at least 75. I'm going to say 100. <laughs> I'm guessing it's close to 100. All right, here you go. Let me see if I can get it in the truck. Well, it might be around 80. I don't know. It's, it's heavy. Lord, please don't let this handle break. Please don't let this handle break on me. That would be extremely bad. Please don't let this handle break. <laughs> You can do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh lord. Ah. That's one bucket. Whew. We got another one over here. All right, folks. We're gonna grab some more lead real quick and head home. We get home, we'll weigh it. If we can get it on the thing. I'm betting we're gonna bring home close to 200 pounds of lead. We're gonna do more in 30 minutes than I've done in the past two years. boggles my mind. I've been wasting my time breaking my back. Oh my goodness. Mine too. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and shut it off. Alright. We're home now. We got three buckets full. Go ahead and show the buckets. Show how much we got. Three buckets, basically as much as I could carry in each bucket. We're guessing we got close to 200 pounds, but we really don't know, but we're about to find out. So, let's see if we can get these on the scale. That's the smallest of them. 50 plus 21, that's, we got a lot more than we thought. That's 71 with the smallest one. That's the smallest bucket and it's 71 pounds. Oh, according Lord. to these scales. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's one. 71 pounds. That one I could actually carry. We'll that. call it 70 just to be even numbers and the bucket weighs a little. Okay, it's going to be about 81, we'll just call that one 80. So between these two buckets, we're at 150. 150, and this is the heaviest bucket. Alright, oh goodness. Okay, 106. Wow. 256 pounds. 
258 if you want to count the two pounds. Well, the buckets weigh something. I'm going to call it 255 pounds. And I mean, the, there's going to be some scrap in here. There's some rocks in here. There's some dirt in here and debris and stuff. And that's okay. That's normal. It won't yield, you know, 255 pounds of pure lead. It'll yield probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 pounds, 215, 200, something, somewhere, somewhere around there. There'll be some waste and some slag, but oh my gosh, 255 pounds. And we, we filled these buckets up in under 30 minutes. That's unbelievable. We've been absolutely wasting our time over the past year or two or how long it's been. That blows my mind. Wow. 30 minutes. We've got 255 pounds of rain scrap. We're exhausted. It wasn't that bad. It, <laughs> we're, we're not nearly as exhausted as we would have been if we'd have picked all this up one bullet at a time. Jeez. I can assure you that. And I've got, I've got probably another 100 pounds over there. So we've got, well, heck, let's just weigh it. Uh, it's 255 pounds. Hang tight. 42 pounds. We'll call it 40 just to be even. So that's 255 plus 40. We'll call it 295. This one's probably the smallest one out of all of them. No, this one's heavier than the last one. It is? Yeah. It is. It's just a bigger bucket. Oh. Okay. Stop shaking. So we're at 295, 58, we'll call it 55, 350 pounds. We've got 350 pounds of range scrap. Take a good look at that. Five buckets of range scrap. Come closer. Come closer and look down in the buckets, buddy. We've got 350 pounds of range scrap. So we've got some uh, we've got some ingots to make. <laughs> That's 350 50 pounds of range scrap, and I've got right at around 200 pounds of ingots total. So that's that's awesome. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I am so glad we joined this new club, <laughs> gun club. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you want to learn more about uh, melting range scrap into ingots, I've got a playlist with all the videos. Uh, a lot of these videos that I've made on the subject are me learning and are me as a novice learning as such. So uh, do your own research. Don't take my word on everything that I've said because some of the stuff I've said in the past videos has been somewhat incorrect or not. I didn't fully grasp what I was talking about nothing too important but some of them but anyway I'll throw this all in, in the playlist and put a link to that playlist in the play in the description below also the top right corner will have a, a link to that and if you want to learn more you can uh, click on that playlist and learn some more and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have another video here soon of us melting all this down into ingots and that ought to be a lot of fun <laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching y'all have a great day